<coughs> Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. <coughs> Today in this topic, uh, in this video, we are going to talk about a very important topic, which is uh, multi-month calendar. So in previous version of Oracle Apex, uh, like, uh, we have a calendar only uh, which shows only one month, like like this. Look. So we have only, uh, and we can also shows like this, month and list. But uh, <clears throat> in a latest version of Apex, Apex uh, 30, uh, 23 point two. So we have a, a multi-month calendar, uh, multi-month in year calendar in uh, Apex. Like, let me show you how how we can achieve multi-month in year uh, calendar. So let's come. Look, I have already created one of them. Mm -hmm. Look here. We have multi-month calendar. Uh, look, September. If we go back, go back. So the first one is uh, January, and this is the current date. Say February, March, April. It means that in one calendar we can show uh, different months of the year. So that is. Uh, here I want to sh uh, show, I mean, uh, just uh, for, for, for x3, I mean, uh, the uh, height of that is 4x3. So how we can achieve that? We use the first code for that and come here. Let me create another uh, region and copy, the, copy this region. Here we have attribute, and after attribute we have uh, we have initialization JavaScript. So we have to use this one. So this is the configuration function which configure initialize the calendar uh, by default, like config uh, and date inclusive false and config.header toolbar.end is now and config initial view is multi-month uh, year this is parameter that we have specified here in order to show our calendar in multi-month year calendar so we have to run and look so the multi-month calendar youtube we have to come look multi-month calendar YouTube so we have uh, January February uh, March like that all the months are shown in one calendar all the months so we can show this in different views like config uh, multi-month uh, maximum columns uh, only two so we can also use this for uh, multi-month maximum col column is two. Here we have three, so we can show only two as well. <coughs> okay. Let me use this one. Run this. Look, come here. Look. We have a two January February before we had a three uh, months so two two and I end of that year so it shows all the mm, year with months so next year 2025 and previous year is 2024 the current year 24 so we have some more uh, customization that have we can multi-month year uh, like 12 uh, x1 so we can also use this
Okay, this fifty is wrong. And six. Okay, uh, okay. I already used this one. Uh, that is true. Mm, okay. <clears throat> We have a multi and custom duration. We can also use uh, specify custom duration of that, like uh, four months, three months. Uh, so how we so let's come code and use that. So. Look, we have uh, January, February, only four months. So the duration will be four months. So we can also use the duration of the current calendar into four, into three, into uh, whatever. So we can customize that. So this is this can be implemented in latest version. Uh, like uh, in look, we have a version uh, 23.2, uh, so it can be implemented in 23.2, not in late lower version. So that's why, okay, thank you.